at age 19, this time last year, I handed in the keys to my first apartment ever. And I drove off shortly after with all my shit packed into a U-Haul to a cheap storage facility. I shoved everything I worked for for basically two years into a small metal box. And from there, with shame and disappointment, I hopped into my broke-ass Ford Focus where uh, one of the doors didn't even open. It was a hatchback, so... I drove in pure silence to my mama's house. It drove me and my girlfriend at the time to my mama's house. And basically, I went from the high schooler with his own place. I remember literally... Uh, having that mentality of being like you know a lot of the kids who i was going to school with it was like they had to go home and answer to the parents you know yeah they're allowed to you know hang out smoke weed or whatever the hell me i was like fuck that shit i come home i hop on my computer i smoke weed i be as loud as i want i pay the bills i had gone from that to back to my mama's crib with my girl living off of me and it it was just such a reality switch because like I was also broke at that time because I was only working part-time. I had roommates. Uh, I was, I was eight, only working part-time with roommates. So I had gone from, you know, high schooler, his own place, life is cool. And then from like beginning of 18 to basically the beginning of 20, I had hit rock bottom. I was broke. I had no skills because I wasted my time playing fucking video games. I was living back at my mama's house and I was wor and I was more worried about how I was not about to be playing video games for a while. That was my main concern in life. Out of victim mentality too. Uh, just basically acting like a little boy. During this point in time, I would say a lot of things like, I did everything right. Why is this happening to me? I like, I, I don't deserve this to happen to me. And like for uh, the reason why I actually, um, had left my place or had to quit my lease. I had some roommates and with my roommates, they got into some confrontations with our neighbors. All Connor and Ring Cam happened over like the, happened two different altercations over the course of a week. And I would say things like, I hope they know the pain that they caused me and they pay me back for it because you know, I, I got kicked out of my house. And that was the wrong way to ever think about it. Because they're, like, I was saying, like, oh, they did this. This is all their fault. I did nothing wrong. I was doing everything right. Why is this happening to me? There was plenty I actually could have done to, you know, better my situation. Like, one, I could have worked full time and been saved up money. My rent was, like, fucking $600 at the time. So I was, uh, if I worked full time, you know, just 40 hours a week. I would have been making like probably I would I would have been making like seven hundred a week. I would have been making four times what my rent was. I probably would have been fucking balling for a nineteen like a you know, nineteen going into twenty year old. So then when I did get kicked out, I would have had a few racks saved up, get right back into another place. But I didn't. I worked part time when I was playing video games. And then on top of that, like I said, two altercations over the course of a week that eventually led to me getting kicked out. I saw the fight coming and my roommates weren't even on my lease. Uh, they were new roommates because I had kicked out my old roommates. Long story, but I had the ability to basically kick these people out of my house because, you know, they were starting fights and shit. And I had that ability, but I'd never put my foot down because I was too scared of having to work full time and having to pay the bills on my own. So that's my fault. But... <clears throat> You know, I could use the time better, et cetera, et cetera. The main thing is not to focus on basically what you could have did better, like how I just did there for the last minute. What you could do, it's important to learn what to do next time so then it doesn't happen again, but don't fixate over it. Like, I could sit here all day and be like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done this. When I got kicked out, I could have done this. But I already made a video about it, like literally, I think uh, last week. Don't fixate on uh, that shit, you know? Just learn the little lesson. What I learned was don't waste no more time. Uh, shit could happen like that, you know? So don't waste time fucking thinking everything's gonna be okay. You need to be grinding. And uh, the other thing I learned is like, if somebody, if I ever have, if I ever were to have roommates again, 
and they're putting my living situation at risk. Get them the fuck out of your house. Uh, that's what I learned after that. But going forward, what to actually do to deal with the adversity. This is a video on how to deal with adversity. So five minutes in, I'm about to actually tell you the secret. What to do, like in adversity. You got kicked out, your girl left you, you know, might be a death in the family, unfortunately. Um, the first thing you could do when you have some type of adversity like that is learn the lesson from the future. If you got kicked out, okay, maybe I could have worked more, saved up some more money, and I could have also stopped my roommates from, uh, you know, putting me in a situation where I had to leave my house. That's all my fault. Okay, I learned those lessons for the future. If your girl left you, you know, don't, don't be a simp. Uh, do this better. Like, you know, if you have like a death in the family, the one thing I could say like that you learn from that is to spend more time with those people who are around you, you know? So like learn the lesson for the future, the short lesson. Don't fixate over it. That's not good for your mental health at all. But then the second thing that you have to do that's actually going to fix it is just basically double down on the grind. That's what I did. D like get a second job, start fucking putting in more work at the gym. Maybe you're fucking only going to boxing for like three hours a week. Start going six hours a week. Do anything except for com like crying, complaining, and just basically fucking sitting around bitching all day. Like when I got kicked out of my house the first time, I could have sat there and continued to be like, I did everything right. Why me? I didn't deserve this. Blah, 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 blah. Instead, what I did was I got a full, I got another full-time job on top of my part-time job. And I was like, you know what? There's no more time to like, there's no, like, there's no point in wasting more time. Come here. And on top of that, like, uh, you could use some fuel to like, uh, make you want to, you know, work harder. When I got kicked out of my place, I had to send this, this nigga right here to my fucking dad's and I would have to check on him every night cause my dad, um, works overnight. So he wouldn't be at the house and stuff. And I would see this dog every night and be like, I'm getting a place for you. I'm working my ass off. I'm about to put in the fucking double grind. I'm getting everything straight. I'm not fucking off no more time. And just focusing on that literally cleared the whole adversity. And when you do double down, when shit gets hard and you're in rock bottom, like how I was broke, no skills, back in my mom's house, go lay your ass down and get out my video, bro. <sighs> He's a, uh, he likes attention. Um, you know, I was back at like rock bottom. When you double down, that's when the opportunities that are going to be able to take you out of rock bottom are going to present themselves. I got the second job. I was working fucking 12 hour days and I had no days off. I'm like the three days where I wasn't working 12 hours, I was working five hours at least. The opportunities are going to present themselves. And because I was working my ass off, had all the money, somebody offered me a, like a, a Lexus with like only 50,000 miles on it. And they gave it to me for a fucking amazing deal. Cause they were all like, if you, if you don't buy this, like kind of right now, I'm just probably going to go on Craigslist, sell it for double. Um, because I have the money I was able to capitalize on that. I got myself a nicer car. Remember I was driving a broke ass Ford focus where one of the doors didn't open had the opportunity present itself. Then the opportunity presented itself for me to move in here. As soon as I moved in here, you know, I'm out from rock bottom, just got a new car. I'm not living in my mama's house anymore, you know. I'm actually proud of having a place to sleep for, you know, me and my girl. Always expect another curveball. But, like, smile when it happens, you know. No point in bitching and complaining the same and, like, adopting a victim mentality. Basically, as soon as I moved into this place and, like, um, my rent start, like, okay, so... I was used to paying six hundred dollars for rent. Moved in here, I was like, okay, seventeen hundred. I could do this on my own. I'm, I'm a big boy now. As soon as I moved in here, and you know, I paid my first month's rent or like second month's rent, the collection from quitting my lease from the first apartment hit me for like twenty five hundred dollars. And then it was all like, okay, pay this twenty five hundred dollars within four months, or we're gonna fuck off. Like we're gonna fucking shit on your credit that you uh, worked so hard for to make perfect pay that shit off while paying off your rent and um, good luck. At that point, I I remember when I opened up that letter and it was all like $2,500, like my heart sank, but it was like, I could bitch, 
I could say, I don't deserve this. I could say, I was doing everything right. Why does this keep happening to me? I could fucking bitch and be like, well, the person who actually got me kicked out should pay this and this and this thing. But it's better just to look for the lesson that you could learn in the future. Because I felt that financial sting at the end, I really learned, I was all like, I will never waste time uh, just not having money ever again. Like I'm gonna be working with all my time and regarding like my living situation, if I ever have somebody who's putting my living situation in jeopardy because they wanna, you know, cause public disturbances or uh, fight with the neighbors and shit and be profane, I will, I will remove them from the house myself. Like, I'm not putting up with that shit, but that's what I learned and you know, always, just know bad things teach lessons, but it's up to you to learn them. Like I said, that whole thing happened. I could have not learned anything from it and bitched and been like, uh, oh, this doesn't deserve to happen to me. And I, I would have turned out just fine, just like how I did. But I could also learn a lesson from it. Like, uh, you know, my first grandmother, she passed away. And from that I learned is like, you know, a lot of people's time is limited and you know as a lot of my uh, pets started dropping off too i was like damn bro you're never gonna see those people again and it kind of makes you just like it learn the lesson from that so like we're moving forward now i'm all like okay talk to my parents every day talk to my other grandmother who is still alive every day and as a matter of fact like when i was writing down the script i was just kind of looking at it like once a day once every few days like i learned the lesson from my first grandmother passing away so like i always i keep that right there on my desk oh, there's like a fuck ton of sticky notes on there you guys can't see it but like now i call my grandma and make sure that i talk to her to make sure that you know i don't miss out on time because that was one of the lessons i learned uh from like the past so if you get some adversity learn the let learn this like shortly reflect on what lesson you could have learned for the future and then double down on the hustle to get yourself out of that rut, you know? Double down on the hustle, the opportunity that's gonna pull you out of that rut, pull you out of rock bottom, it's gonna present itself, and then you're gonna be good. But just cause you're good again, doesn't mean you're not gonna get hit with another curveball. So just expect it to happen again and always stay on your grind. That's basically kind of just the point of this video. But, um, got any value out of this video? Honestly, leave your thoughts in the comment on like what you guys uh, kind of think about adversity or how you deal with it you know maybe you'll help somebody else uh, who is going through a tough time if you kind of share how you went through a tough time and how you came back up on top of it all right so like i said if you got some value out of this video go into the comments write down some time when you went through some adversity and how the fuck you came overcame it all right and the video there peace out do something productive today